Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is my Pimax Vision 5K Super and I'm loving the field of you guys. I've only had this for a short amount of time, but um, I do have a gripe with it and that is the weight balance and the foam facial interface. So a couple of things which are a problem for me and I'll show you what I've done to fix that uh, because I find that the headset is a little bit front heavy and it feels like it digs into your cheekbones, it sort of rests against your cheekbones rather than being um, the, the pressure being evenly uh, distributed around the facial interface. And that's kind of a problem. Um, and um, I also don't like the foam because the foam kind of has a roughness to it and I look to replace the foam with any VR headset I have. Um, if it does have just like a foam cover and not pleather, uh, because it's, I just find that becomes itchy over time, you know, for 20, 30 minutes, it becomes a little bit irritating to me. Um, so yeah, I kind of hate that. And um, yep, so I'll show you what I've done, guys, because um, I just basically hacked together bits and pieces I had from accessories from my Quest 2, which I um, which I just had lying around, because fortunately I have reviewed a few Quest 2 accessories in my time and I just had a bunch of things in a box. So let me show you what I've done first with the facial interface because it's a simple mod, this one, the simplest thing. So taking out the uh, that massive piece there, and you can see the initially it used to fill in that whole area here. You can see the velcro at the top piece there, you know, where it sticks to. And yes, yeah, so I'm using a much thinner and uh, more comfortable, I'd say, uh, facial interface. So this one came from my um, a Kiwi Design Fitness um, Facial Interface Kit. And yes, it's Velcro on this side, so yeah, just stuck it on there. And it's much nicer, it's a really soft material, nice and cushioned, the right amount of thickness as well, which is great. And uh, that works well, and you can see, yeah, it kind of goes on there and it fits quite well. Even though it doesn't have the top coverage there, I don't find that to be a problem, because um, I'm no longer having the issue where it feels, feels like it's uh, pushing into my face on this part here it is very light because I have improved the weight distribution and that's a big problem with this headset and it doesn't need to be because um, the valve index is a little bit heavier than this but that head strap works great and it holds it up but you can see this now before it was like that um, but now it is really balanced in the middle and that's because I've added the weight to the back uh, and to do that I've changed the back padding so the, initial, the, the original back padding is sort of a, you know, just a triangle bit. I'm sure you're aware of that triangle bit that sticks on here. I replaced it with this one, which is a uh, Beswin, Beswin VR. Let's get the cable out of the way. Beswin VR uh, back padding accessory, again for the Quest 2. Um, really nice cushioning on here. And uh, it came with a battery pack as well, uh, strap. And um, instead of using a uh, battery, which I initially did do, had this battery in there, and that worked great. Um, I just put a stone in there. I had an ornamental stone. I was thinking, well, you know, it's kind of a waste to use a, a battery when I don't need the battery in the back of this, you know, uh, headset. But uh, and I just discovered something smaller and uh, something of, you know, generally about equal amount of weight. It's a bit lighter, but it's actually a little bit better since it is a, a smaller profile. That works great. Uh, I'll show you how I've stuck on this uh, back padding. Um, fortunately, it's, uh, it does come with some Velcro on the back of here, um, so it does stick to the top, along the, on the top there, but it's obviously a little bit loose because there's no way to stick it anywhere else. So what I've done, I've done a couple of things here. Um, hopefully you can see this properly and it kind of makes sense. But I've got a couple of Velcro straps, which um, I've wrapped around the padding here, and then stuck to the top in there. So that just prevents it from kind of moving around and, and just basically falling off. So yeah, so a bit of Velcro sort of padding, you know, is Velcro attachment on top there. And then this just holds it in place and it's absolutely nice and stable now. Um, another thing I did have to do was um, this padding needs to be pushed out a little bit. So what I've done, I've, uh, I've cut up this, which is from a, um, a Samsung VR you know, gear VR sort of headset, that's the facial interface. You can see it's a bit of foam thing and some Velcro on there. So if we can get in there, and hopefully you can see what's happened here. But you can see those are the pieces there, which again, just stick to the back of here. And then I've, uh, and, they, and those kind of Velcro straps are underneath there. So that just helps hold it on and it's, yeah, really stable. Um, because yeah, it does need to be pushed out a little bit, I found with this um, back padding. Uh, otherwise it's just a bit too far back so it needs that to kind of you know push it forward so yeah as you can see it is kind of a combination of kind of random bits guys and uh, i'm certainly not saying you know do exactly what i've done here 
um, I was lucky enough that you know I had these components and I was able to you know um, put together this sort of MacGyver build but I'm really happy with it the difference it makes I have to say is massive um, it does feel a lot more comfortable um, and I'd say the biggest uh, effect of doing this was the balance it did feel like it's pushing down like that and it's really really annoying I, I couldn't get it to kind of to sit right on my face but doing these mods has basically effectively turned it into a very very comfortable headset obviously it's still a big headset and it's still you know a bit of a cumbersome headset but this is something i can now wear for an extended period of time without feeling any discomfort because it just feels so much better on my head anyway guys hope you found that useful um i'll put links in the description to um the reviews i've made of the that and that if it's if it's worth anything to you guys but um that's the kind of components i'm using but yeah if you were to buy all these bits it's kind of expensive because obviously these are accessories which come with other parts which isn't designed for this so you know maybe you can find at least inspiration from my build uh to find a solution for yourself also check out other youtube videos just do a search for like you know pimax comfort mods and stuff like that people have done stuff there's stuff on reddit you'll find stuff with just with google searches so it's worth doing if you, you know if you have a pimax or you're thinking about pimax you know maybe do your research as well because it is you know ultimately out of the box it's not a very comfortable headset um and um but fortunately there are some easy fixes and and this was mine you know it's kind of luck really guys i was just kind of hacking around with bits and pieces and you know i came up trump so yeah really happy with that guys anyway if you uh yeah ask any questions drop comments below the video guys um if you have a pimax and you've made your own mods yeah do uh yeah drop a comment below the video um yeah be interested to hear how you've improved the feeling of your pimax but that's how i've done it and yeah really loving the pimax now so there you go so anyway hope you found it useful uh take care i'll see you in the next one and bye bye